It's the start of the new year. I uh, had an idea, got it in my head, can't get it out, so we got to try it. Um, like in my last video, I had redid the whole trunk. I put the uh, LED lights, the rock lights up in the back and in the corners over here. Uh, got it all lit up and everything. And, uh, you know, I had everything done, like the wood uh, floor and everything. And then we have the, uh, the pumps back here. I just wanted a little something extra. Uh, I really want to get this all built out, but I really don't want subs. Like, if I have subs, I would want them back here, behind the tank, behind this. Um, but I don't know how that would work out. I mean, there's space if you come from the from the back of the car up. You could probably build a box out, something like that. But then I like the whole cleanliness of just having a clear floor. So I probably always leave this uh, just with the hardwood. And then maybe some speakers back here or something. I got some, actually, some L7s I could put back there, but I just haven't, I don't know, haven't done it. But what we're going to do today, I'm going to take the same Starlights I have on the inside of my car, and I have a whole nother kit. I think it's about four or 500 lights, and I'm going to put them all on the side panels. So this side panel and then my other side, and uh, we just got to take everything out. I'm going to try and go over it again. I have a couple videos already on how to do starlights. But um, just in case you wanted to know and uh, you didn't see the other videos, we're just going to do it all over again. So had to remove the pump, had to take these lines out, push them back through, and then this whole panel is going to come out. Um, this is the only thing I have to take off. Plus, I had to take this LED light out. Got to break the zip ties that I put on there, pull it out. So I've done that on this side. This is just gonna have to get pushed through. And then this whole panel's ready to come out. I already got the LED light out. And uh, I had to take the floorboard out because it's actually covering up uh, the rest of this and this part. So when I pull all that out, it'll be ready to pull out. So I got both panels out. This is my setup for inside the car. So the main box, the big box is for all the starlights. Then this is the uh, shooting star. And then like my other videos show, but a lot of people still ask, I wired everything and labeled them. And then I took it all the way up through the trunk and uh, into the back seat. And then it goes up to the headliner. So that's the way I have mine ran. Some people run it from uh, down here. Um, I thought it was cleaner this way. And um, whenever I open up and close my seats, I'll never touch it. So it'll never bind right there. And my boxes were able to fit behind the panel. Um, I believe this probably was up here a little bit, but um, it was able to fit and not bulge and not look bulky or messed up. So my other one, um, I had to pull it out the box. We got to open the box, but my other one, I think it's smaller than this. And so it'll be able to fit uh, somewhere else. And then we just get it all wired up. Um, I'm actually going to put my trunk partially back together. So I could drive the car for a couple days while I do this because I like to take my time. So I hooked everything back up. This is nice and sturdy, drilled in. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing for this one. And then uh, it'll be able to drive. And I'll probably put the first floor in the trunk just in case I need to carry anything. And then uh, we're good to go. So let's crack open the box and uh, see how it's going to roll. So after a long night, probably... You want to ask me like two nights probably take you a couple hours three to maybe four hours to get all this done um you're poking every hole you're putting the glue in every spot and you have to run your wires uh this is what you're going to be left with on the back side and then uh coming to the front side uh this is how it's going to look before you clip everything um when you see it you say like oh like it's okay but um, once once all these fibers are cut, you get the cleaner look. I didn't want to spend too much time on the explanation of how to do this. Um, I have at least three other videos showing you exactly how to poke the holes, put it through the fabric. But again, uh, you're going to want to use a pick tool. And that pick tool is going to go through the fabric. You want to go on uh, the side that you don't see. You get the pick tool, which looks something like this. Real sharp end. Some people use an ice pick. This actually works better. This can be bought, I think, at Home Depot or Lowe's, and it just has that real sharp edge on it. Okay, so the pick tool, you go through the fabric, and then it's gonna stick out to the other side. 
you twist and turn it, move it around a little bit just to make that hole big enough for the fiber. Then you wanna grab the fiber, you stick the fiber through, poke it through, you pull it from the other end, and you wanna leave about, uh, I say this is about three inches, so you wanna pull it through about three inches. That way, uh, I do mine in groups of 10 or 20, so then um, if you just happen to touch the cord or something, that they won't retract. So you wanna pull them through, make sure you have enough space, just in case anything happens, you don't have to poke it through the hole again. And um, once that's done, then you wanna glue it. So you take just a little dab of glue. All these are just a dab, just a dab, just a dab from the hot glue gun. You wanna get a mini hot glue gun, which takes mini sticks. Something like this, cheap, easy to use. Ran out of clear, so my girls, they have all kind of arts and crafts, so I had to use one with some glitter on it. But um, that's all you need. You plug it up, squeeze it a little bit, little dab comes out, move on to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, until you're done with your sequence. Then you let it kind of dry, and you start poking your other holes. Then I also, uh, because this one's going in the trunk and there's two, so there's, you know, this panel and this panel, I had to separate everything going to the box. So I have 150 here. It's a total of 300. So 150 strands here, 150 here, and then they all go up to the box. And um, then the box, I was just making sure everything works, looks good. Then you're just gonna clip these and you could use any kind of like dikes and you just clip it. You don't have to push in and clip. You just right on the surface, take the dikes, clip them, clip them all make it even, and then it's ready to put back into the trunk. And so uh, that's what I'm gonna try and do tonight or tomorrow. So it's like two in the morning, I can't sleep, just decided, man, let's go ahead and put this trunk back together. Can't wait till tomorrow. So this is how I've been rolling the last few days. Um, like I said, I reconnected uh, both of my air pumps for the tank. And then this is my original equipment that uh, goes to the starlights and then the, um, the meteor shower. And so um, when I put the panels in, uh, they're all connected now, so this panel and that panel, they share that one uh, wire that splits into two uh, that goes to the box. So I gotta, I'm gotta, i going to put them in together, sandwich them in, spread them out, and then the lines that run, one line is going to come down here and go down, and the other one for the other side, and then I'm going to have them meet in the middle. And then under here uh, is where all the wires are going to hide. There's already like a bird's nest down there, so... The wires will be down there. I'll put my uh, wood flooring in and uh, get all my panels put back together with all these uh, clips. Make sure that I put them back. That way the panels stay flush against the wall and it should look really good. So I'll probably show a couple pictures, videos, uh, just how it looks when it's coming together. But that's all you have to do to put it back. It's really just what you use to take it off. And then uh, hopefully I'll be able to light it up and show you guys what it looks like and it should be cool. panels in uh just uh only secured by one little push pin but they're in there and then next i gotta put in these compressors so they're gonna go on top where they used to be and then um once i get the compressors in i'm gonna try and clean this up a little bit on this side i did real well you can see it's neat all the way over there uh this side i left a little to be desired um it's gonna look like that but I like it more neat, so I'm going to follow this back a little bit and uh, scrunch the wires up, make it kind of look like this because that looks real neat. And then, like I said, this whole thing is going to come down the middle of the trunk from back there, and it's going to sit about right here with the rest of my bird's nest. But on the, uh, the light box, which is here, 
uh, I'll just have it sitting here for now. And then the trunk is gonna cover the rest, the floor of the trunk. So nothing will be seen at all look clean, but you know, you don't wanna leave this for the next person that may have to work on your car or the next time you have to work on your car, you don't wanna mess. So gonna try and clean it up a little bit while I also um, get this stuff mounted. So um, see what happens. All done. I got uh, both of the pumps mounted, all the wires put back. Uh, everything's secure, buttoned up. Uh, the alignment of this was really good. You can't see any wires popping out, hanging out. And like I said, I got uh, this side of the wire. It goes all the way to the back. And then it's going to come out here and roll down to the middle. And it's cleaned up. Same with this side. All cleaned up. Goes all the way to the back, then up, and then to the panel. Um... When I put uh, the floor in, uh, the first part of your floor, you know, it's raised a little bit because it has to compensate for uh, the humps like this. So all this will be completely hidden under there. It won't be smashed. There's enough room for everything to sit comfortably. And uh, that's all I got left is to put that in and put my wood in and then uh, turn it on and see what happens. Uh, I got it all wired up. Uh, check my other video for how to wire up also. Um, it tells you the exact fuse that you need if you're going to do a Challenger. And otherwise, uh, the video will tell you uh, which wire you need to cut out of the uh, the cigarette lighter or whatever you're going to, whichever plug you're going to use. And then it'll make it work. So when this is connected, you'll start to see stuff light up. You put that in and then you screw it on. All because I have uh, the other light from behind. You can't see that this is already lit up. But uh, it's pretty cool. A little preview. And that's just not even all the way on. That's just me holding the light over there. It's going to look nice. So uh, let me get the floor in. We'll get a final product. Done, done, and done. Completely done. Uh, the floor's in. That goes all the way to the back. The panels are done. Everything's looking clean to my lights. Everything's looking good. You know, from far away, you pretty much can't tell. It just looks like suede. I mean, it looks nice, just like my trunk was a week ago. Now we're gonna turn off this light and turn on the star lights. And then you get to see the effect. I think that's pretty badass. color you want. You can make it flash or you can just leave it white like I have it. I think that's cool. Oh, any questions, y'all just hit me up in the DMs. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. This one's done. It's a wrap. Uh, next thing I want to take care of is something up here. If you guys can think of what I can do to just make it all complete, cohesive. I don't want to do starlights up there. I just want to do something else. I feel like it's too plain. I need something. Hit me up. Let me know. Thanks for watching.